And it's time for your morning rush. All the news you need to know before you start your day. All right, first we've got an important update on unemployment benefits here in our state. The state has been approved by FEMA for a $300 federal wage benefit to help those on unemployment who are struggling financially during the pandemic. The Lost Wage Assistance Program was created after President Trump took executive action on the matter last month. It will add $300 each week to every eligible claimant who receives at least $100 in state or federal unemployment benefits. We're being told the South Carolina Employment Workforce will release new details on the program soon. And more help is coming for Americans struggling to pay rent during the pandemic. The White House has announced an unprecedented nationwide ban on evictions. To be eligible, individuals must make less than $99,000 a year. For couples, that number is $198,000 a year. The eviction ban will be in effect through the end of this year. Landlords, though, can still hold renters responsible for missed payments. All right, some great news this morning for those of you who have loved ones in nursing homes. After nearly six months of isolation during COVID-19, people will be able to visit their loved ones again in residential care facilities around our state. But very strict rules attached to this. There will be no hugs, no kisses, and they'll have to meet outside. Governor Henry McMaster announced new guidelines for visitation yesterday, which require guests to give full contact information and pass a temperature check as well. They also require no COVID-19 cases in staff or residents in past two weeks, as well as social distancing and masks worn at all times. And at the State House, the Senate will be back in session today to talk about a number of important issues, including absentee voting, COVID-19 relief funding, and finalizing the state's budget for the year. One senator is also planning to introduce a resolution to honor the late Chadwick Bozeman. The famous actor and Anderson native passed away on Friday after a four year battle with colon cancer. The Senate is expected to be back in session starting at noon today.